Here's a quick overview of the materials we'll use to make our Christmas vignette. Uh, you might need some kind of filler like a garland, bottle brush trees, small ornaments, pipe cleaners, dowels, picks, um, a big ornament for your focal point. You'll need a container of some sort and some floral foam. Um, any little scraps you have laying around will work out great for your Christmas vignette. Hi guys, I have um, a DIY today that I'm super excited about. It's one of my favorite things um, I've made this year for Christmas. Um, these little Christmas, we'll call them a Christmas vignette. So you'll need a container and a bunch of little things. I feel like we all have scraps from other projects, maybe ornaments that don't really go with anything else, all these lovely little odds and ends just hanging around. We're gonna put those together to make a lovely Christmas arrangement in a container. Um, these would be great gifts, but please, if you're giving someone a Christmas decoration, give it to them early, like now, so they can enjoy it. Um, this would also be a great gift for someone in the hospital or um, in an extended care facility. It's small, it's portable, it's super cheery, and you can like cram it full of things so it's interesting to look at um, from lots of different directions. So you'll need a container, um, odds and ends of cute things, and your Christmas cheer to make this. Here's our uh, snowman ornament from Dollar Tree that will become the focal point of our Christmas vignette. And because it's Christmas time, everything should have a little sparkle. So um, we'll put a little glitter on this guy. Um, I'm using plain white glue, just a regular, like an Elmer's glue. This is the, the brand I'm using is the glue from Dollar Tree. Um, so a little bit of white glue here and there, wherever you put the glue is where the glitter will stick. Um, so a little bit of white glue on his face, on his arms, um, and I'm using a an iridescent glitter, not silver. So the iridescent glitter is kind of translucent, so you'll still see the white. Just give that a little sprinkle all over to make him shiny, and then we'll let him dry before we finish assembling our vignette. Okay, let's assemble our Christmas vignette. Uh, we have a container. Um, I have a ceramic soup mug from Dollar Tree, and I've glued in some floral foam. And we're gonna add a bottle brush tree. Um, I'm using the silver tree and I just pulled off the base and I'm going to be adding a dowel rod right into the center with hot glue so I can um, attach the tree to the floral foam. Um, I'm going to hot glue the, um, the dowel rod in there and then I'm going to wrap the dowel rod with a silver pipe cleaner to cover it if any of it happens to show. So I'm gonna get that covered and then I'm gonna place that tree into the floral foam and I'm gonna place it um, in the back corner. Be conscious of where your handle is. I have my handle facing to the left and then I'm gonna put my big tree, what I would call Northwest. And then after we have the big tree in there, um, we're gonna put our other big element, which is our snowman that we glittered earlier. And we will put the snowman kind of opposite. So kind of in the southwest um, part of the mug. So those two will balance each other out. Um, next thing we're gonna use will be two smaller bottle brush trees um, from Dollar Tree. Um, they, they come in a package of two and they're gonna go kind of opposite so in the opposite corners from where we have our big tree and the snowman. So they come in a pack of two. Uh, bottle brushes are very bendy, so you can glue them in there and then bend where they go. So I'm checking, I'm sitting them in there. I'm gonna check the placement and see if I like where they are. Can I see everything? And I think I like where those are, so I'll hot glue those in place. And then you can kind of bend the tree trunk to make them like show on the sides um, and if you get something in there and you really hate it you can always you know yank it out and re-glue it um, don't stress too much about it really nothing is permanent okay so after we have our four like main elements in there we need to start thinking about um, filling the space in 
we really don't want to see any of the floral foam when we have everything done. Um, so you can plan out like what you're going to put in there if you're going to fill it in with lots of small things. You could also stuff some tinsel or some garland in there, that silver garland or some evergreen garland. You could plunk that in there around the edges um, if you're nervous about seeing the foam. I'm going to put a pick in um, kind of going diagonally out to the side. This pick happens to be from Joanne Fabrics. And then I have some uh, pearls. It's one big pick, but I'm gonna pull it apart. This is from uh, Hobby Lobby. And I'm gonna pull off some of those pearls and then put them on the opposite side from that tall pick. So I kind of have these diagonals happening on the left and on the right for balance. Stick off a few more pearls and put those on the other side. Um, I'm not using any glue on the pearls. I'm just using the wire that, um, that they're attached to and sticking that um, into the foam. So after we have the wires in there, the picks, then we're going to start cramming some small ornaments in there. Mini ornaments, um, I've got them at Dollar Tree, I've got them from Dollar General, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, every place has these little packages of small ornaments. And I'm just putting a little bit of hot glue on top of the ornament and then cramming those in there um, so that we make a really full, nice looking uh, vignette. I think that's that's sort of one of the secrets to success on this project is to fill that cup or container up so your Christmas chair is just absolutely spilling out. Um, I'm gonna make one more element to put in here. I'm gonna make a little Christmas sign. Um, I bought a pack of five red glitter Merry Christmas ornaments from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna glue one of my small, short dowel rods. Um, the thin dowel rod is what I'm using. You can buy a package of larger dowel rods at Dollar Tree, like maybe, I don't know, 20 in a pack. Um, I'm using my thin dowel rod, so I'm gonna glue that to the back. And then I'll do the same thing that I did on the tree trunk. I will wrap that dowel rod with a silver pipe cleaner um, to cover up the wood because the wood element doesn't really go with what I'm doing here. Um, everything's kind of red, white, silver. There's some green in there. So the wood and dowel rod would kind of stick out. So the silver will help to um, unify it and make it looks like, look like it belongs with the rest of our um, vignette. So after you've got that wrapped, then I'm gonna cram that kind of behind the snowman in front of the tree so that you can see it. I'm gonna get my stuff out of the way so we can see what our finished vignette looks like. All right, group, um, here's the vignette we just made. I think it turned out so, so, so cute. I love it. Um, I, I wanna give this to someone. I don't know who, but I wanna give this as a gift. Um, it's great the way it is, you know, it's great for a small space. Like if you have a desk, even if you're like work from home, wouldn't this be cute sitting on your desk? Or if you know a teacher, maybe a teacher would like to sit this on her desk right now, or, you know, after Thanksgiving, depending on how you feel about that. Um, no judgment here either which way. Um, so it's really cute like this, but what if we, what if we like turned it up a notch? Just a little. What if we had a little pedestal to put it on? This pedestal is made from um, the glass candlestick from Dollar Tree, which I know have been really hard to find. If you find them, I would say maybe just go ahead and buy five or six to have on hand. Um, these come up in projects again and again. And then this is the glass candle plate that you can also find at Dollar Tree um, with the candlesticks. And then all I did was um, I glued them together. I used um, E6000 and I also used a gel super glue. So I put E6000 around the top of the candlestick and then a couple of dots of the super glue for like the quick grab. And then I put a can, um, a small can of paint on top of it and I let it sit and dry. And then I spray painted the whole thing with a slate gray spray paint and then dry brushed white. So I have this little pedestal. So I have my cute pedestal, which could be used for other things. And then I have my Christmas vignette, which looks really cute. So this is cute and this is cute. And if you put it together, look at that. Did you get that at TJ Maxx? No, I made it at my kitchen table with stuff from the Dollar Tree. 
Merry Christmas.